Hey, praise the Lord. Pastor Kalani here with Strongsville Christian Church. I got Pastor Lindsay here from Growing Together in Hartville, Ohio. He was able to share the Word of God with us at Lake Erie Prison. Got Deacon Frederick back here. Um, Pastor Lindsay, I just want to share, what, what was your experience coming down here for the first time? What were your thoughts? Well, these guys were really receptive to the Word of God, and they really wanted to be here. So it was a real blessing. Yeah. What, how did it feel though? Like, how did you feel going into the prison? Uh, actually, very welcome by the chaplain. Um, very much so. Uh, very well ran here, and it, you know, being with uh, Pastor Joseph and Deacon Frederick uh, was a blessing with these guys. Yeah. Amen. Truly. And Pastor Lindsay, he was able to share the word of God with the inmates. He did a great job. We thank God for him coming with us. Very humble, and he shared about. Um, how God has the ability to promote us or demote us, how he lifts up and he lowers down from the Psalms. And I think that's what we need to remember too. Whatever we're going through in life, you know, God has the ability to uh, promote you. Or if you're proud, he has the ability to demote you as well, which is why as Christians, I learned the key to success um, is humility. Amen. I just want to praise and thank God for the opportunity that he gave us to share his word with the inmates. Amen. And I preached a message yesterday, Wednesday, called Blessed to be Used. And the Lord gave us our freedom. The Lord gave us a word, and he gave it to us as a blessing so that we can use that blessing to bless other people. And I just thank God that he used us on today, as he always does, and I pray that he'll continue to do the same. Yeah, and uh, whoever watches this, I, there was a gentleman, I can't say the person's name, but there was one gentleman when we did the altar call, this person broke down and crying. Um, just pray for that individual. The Lord knows who he is. He was struggling with uh, drugs and he just broke down. I don't really remember seeing someone ever break down in tears uh, at the end of the service the way that this guy did. I know he's coming straight off of the streets from a strong drug addiction. So we just prophesied over him that he was delivered. He's healed. We prophesied he will never come back together in prison, never come back to the prison again. So just pray for him and lift up this uh, prison ministry. Uh, lift up the inmates in here. We just pray that more souls will get saved to the glory of Jesus. And remember, whatever you're going through, Jesus is the answer. And uh, you might not be in a physical prison, but you might have a mental prison or emotional prison. Jesus will set you free. Who the Son sets free is free and did. God bless you guys.